please? Just boy mom things. Look <laughs> when the sun comes out. Good morning. Uh, welcome to the vlog. I decided I am going to do a cold plunge today. I have not. I haven't been sticking to them recently because I felt like this one, I've been lazy. Two, are you coming? One, the other number two, I wasn't sure, but I thought that maybe my hormones were just totally out of whack because of the cold plunge. But I think it was just bad timing with like being postpartum. And job, that looks awesome. You need help with your shirt? You look so handsome, dude. Oh my goodness, you look amazing. I love it. I think baby number one is ready for his morning nap. But anyways, I just had some like weird things going on with my body and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna tone it back, see if maybe that's like causing some stress. But I don't think that that, don't think that was what was happening. What is this? I don't know, being postpartum will humble you sometimes because you once you think you got everything figured out, your body will throw you a curveball. All that to say. Put it on some clothes, we're gonna do it. Whether I will do three minutes is out for determination. I think I'm probably just gonna do like one and a half just to get back into it. That cold plunge was so hard because I haven't been doing it. Also, ignore the silly headband. It's my skincare headband, but I just like it in the morning to keep my hair out of my face. It is so obnoxiously large, but it keeps my hair out of my face before I have a chance keeps my hair out of my face um, until I have a chance to get ready. But let's make some coffee with my helper. Can you put that in there? Okay. Good job, thank you. Okay, this is the breakfast casserole I whipped up. It is um, hash browns, green onions, or pff, wow, green peppers, purple, like red onions, and some breakfast sausage with some cheese on top. And this will last us hopefully the rest of the week and make mornings much easier. I'm going to finish up my coffee. Theo's kind of fighting his nap, so we're just kind of hoping he goes down. I'm going to go sit and read my Bible and eat some breakfast. I want to take a second to thank today's video sponsor, which is Haya. If you guys do not know, or maybe you're new around here, I've been working with Haya for a little over six months, and we love them. Haya is a super-powered little kid's multivitamin that is not a gummy. 
most vitamins that are targeted towards kids especially toddlers on the market are gummies or basically candy in a bottle and that's just not something that I feel I want to have in my kids diet every single day I wanted to find a vitamin that I knew was actually supporting my little one's health and helping him grow each day because as we know kids can be picky eaters and there's definitely gaps in every little one's diet no matter how hard we try to meet their needs they have their own preferences so Haya kind of gives me that peace of mind because each little chewable vitamin is jam-packed with organic fruits and veggies and it's just a little bite-sized piece packed with organic fruits and veggies and lots of essential nutrients and vitamins that are key for a growing little one's body. Zinc, vitamin A, C, D, folate, biotin, things that are great for their bone and teeth development as well as supporting their mood and their energy levels and brain development. They are changing so much and growing so much, so it's awesome to have Haya kind of bridge the gap in their nutrients as well as helping fill in the gaps where they may be missing vitamins that are key for them to grow healthily. They are made without sugar, gummy junk, gluten, eggs, soy, artificial colors, basically all the junk that you don't want in a vitamin, they do not have it in there. The first order, you will get this reusable glass jar as well as some stickers to customize their jar, which kind of helps them feel, hello, do you want your vitamin? Here you go. <laughs> You're welcome. Which kind of helps them feel more included in the process and more excited about taking them. But I have to say, we have never had any issues getting Bellamy to take them. I actually have issues getting him to only take one because he wants to have more. So you'll get a refillable jar and then you can actually sign up for a pediatrician approved schedule to get your vitamins delivered to your door. If you guys would like to try Haya, I will put a link on the screen for you to get 50% off your first purchase with Haya, which is a great deal, and I can almost guarantee that you will love it. And I can personally say that we have been pleasantly surprised by Haya. I am so surprised by how much he loves it and loves taking it. I will also have a link in the description box for you guys as well, and thank you to Haya for sponsoring today's video. later it's post nap time chaos and I'm actually recording this on my phone so hopefully it picks up okay but I'm gonna get a little bit ready even though it's like late in the day just because I do like to be ready when my husband comes home I know he literally doesn't care I don't think he even notices if I look like a scrub or not he's, he's just a good man and he just loves me no matter what <laughs> but um, I do just like to like put the effort in, you know, not even just for his sake, but for mine, I feel so much better and we've had a really good day so far. We had a little bit of play date this morning after a morning routine and took it slow and I was actually able to squeeze in a workout. I thought about vlogging that, but honestly, like when I do get to work out, it is such a short time frame of like both my kids possibly sleeping or being entertained to where I'm like I can't even risk like the moment that I need to set up my camera I can't even risk that time taking away from the time I have to work out because they could wake up in a matter of seconds you know so I did that took a shower scrubbed my bathroom and yada yada so anyways I feel like I never fully introduced this vlog but I hope you guys are doing well and I wanted to say thank you for all the love on my Bible study video I recently posted. It was I think two weeks ago now. So I just am really appreciative of everybody who watched it because it is a little scary. Go what? It is like a little scary getting back into that world on YouTube when I've been out of it for so long because you never know how it will be received but I was just kind of trusting the Lord with it because ultimately it's about him and not about me but with posting any sort of faith-based content comes all of the critical comments of like whether or not your theology is right what which is important obviously but like a lot of times it's just people being really rap 
brash and like mean and then a lot of times people are judging based off of your appearance too i've gotten lots of comments of that like you don't dress like a christian you don't look like a christian you wear too much makeup you have tattoos you have piercings all of these things which is just to each their own but like also to each their own um personal convictions i think there's a little bit of nuance there you know so anyways God loves you even if you're covered in tattoos. So that's all I'm gonna say about that. We're gonna make an iced latte and I'll take you guys through my afternoon. I am really hoping to finally, finally start my scrapbook because that was one of my goals for 2024 was to scrapbook just one page a month. And guys, I literally have not even done one. So I'm three months behind. I did at least print my pictures from January but I still need to print pictures from February and March is almost over. So kind of behind. So I'm hoping I can at the minimum start that page, but it'll just kind of depend how the boys are doing. We have lots of updates to share. We're potty training, have no idea how, I didn't even plan on it. I literally was just like last week stressing about how I'm like, oh, we haven't potty trained yet. I feel so behind and just like feeling like I should have done it already, yada yada. The night before his third birthday, the big boy just decided, he's like, I just wanna go potty. And I was absolutely shocked because we have offered it and encouraged it. We've read books about it. And he has just up until this point been absolutely against it. Like completely not interested, borderline terrified. So. I just thought, I was like, well, I waited too long, but there were a few people who told me, just wait until he's three because for some reason, that's like a magic age for kids. They get it so quick and that they're like interested. And so here we are, he had his third birthday last weekend and you guys, he is doing amazing. I am so proud of him. Like it's going so much better than I could have expected it to go. But yes, potty training is going really well. We've had like just such, a good time with it so far and I am rewarding him so every time he goes or tries to go he gets a jelly bean from that yum earth brand yay Bubba are you saying hi to Bubba hi hi good job the boys are playing down um and then every time he actually goes, he gets two jelly beans. And the reward system has been working for us. And I'm sure that it's going to bite me in the butt somehow. You guys will say, like, what do you do when you, you know, when he's, like, fully trained? Do you stop? Like, will he stop going potty if he stops getting rewards? I don't know. I'm just approaching it the best way that I know how. So that's what we're doing. And I'm just really proud of him. He's done amazing. And we try to make sure that we tell him like, you should be so proud of yourself. So not only did he turn three, he also is potty training and things have just been going over here. And soon enough, I'm gonna have to plan a first birthday party for my second baby. And I literally cannot even fathom that that is happening, that he's almost a year old. This has been the wildest, most refining, best and worst year of my life simultaneously and I can only imagine what God has planned for the next year like for real I don't even remember asking I don't even remember asking him like hey let's let's do some work um but he he really came through he really showed up this last year so I'm excited I'm hopeful and things are just changing it feels like things are changing too so I've also been hosting a lot this month I love to host. I try to host as much as I can. When we got this house, it was one thing that I was like, okay, this house is bigger than what I kind of had ever wanted to deal with. So make it fruitful, Lord, like have us be hosting, have us be a place where people can come and stay. And that has happened too. My sister-in-law lived with us for six months last year. Um, we've had plenty of people stay here. We have house church that we host here. We host family dinners all the time. We host birthdays. We've hosted like family holidays. And 
now um obviously we're i'm hosting my mom for her 50th birthday we're throwing a murder mystery party and it's 20s themed so i have like some setup to do for that maybe i'll do in this vlog just lots going on and just yeah although i feel a little bit stressed at moments when i really think about everything i'm like why why does that happen why does god give us blessings and then we somehow find a way to take those blessings and stress about them it's like i'm so blessed to be able to host things and have my family here and like i'm over here stressing about getting my house clean and stuff and my husband actually gets home my makeup is like all so crusty dusty so he never sees me at my prime but that's all right he sees the vision, right? That's what our husbands are for, us stay-at-home moms. Your husbands know the vision. At least they know that when we try, when we try, we can pull it together. But it's just most of the time we're not gonna try. We're hanging out with babies all day. They don't care what we look like. I'm so here for the fact that natural beauty is trending. People are growing out their brows. People are going back to their natural hair color. People are wearing less makeup and like more modest clothing and all of that. And like, I'm also here for the glam, do whatever makes you feel good. But I'm like so here to encourage the natural beauty trend because I'm like, let's go. Can you imagine like the good that that's gonna do for like the girls that are right now, like 10 through 14 years old. The fact that it's kind of trending to just be the way you look you know at least i feel like it's trending at least i feel like it's trending on my social media maybe not yours but anyways very green kind of want to keep the headband on but definitely looks silly my serious hair growth journey and please please let me know in the comments if it looks like my hair is growing literally at all because i think i have like that syndrome where i will never think it has grown like even if it's down to my butt but to me, I don't feel like it's growing, but I think I'm going to tell myself that it is. I've been working hard. I use um, a scalp treatment once a week. This one right now is from Leah Organics. I got it off of TikTok shop. <laughs> so I use this on my scalp once a week, but also oil my ends. I oil my ends every night. <gasps> Hi. Oh, it's a scorpion. Ow, 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 ow. Like hair, skin, and nail vitamins. I like never use heat on my hair. I take my iron pills. I'm eating more protein. I'm trying to thank you for my headband. I'm doing the most that I can that I know to do. Thank you. I don't need it right now. Mm, that's actually good. It's actually a good color in the paint. Wow, I like it. Get away from me. Yardstick ball in order. Never did much to set me free. I got a new Our table is absolutely trashed and actually our whole house is. I realized, Alexa, pause. I realized I can't even show you my scrapbook page because I no longer show my boys' faces and their faces are all over it and I don't really have a good way to like blur them out. But it's time for a midday cleanup and then we're gonna go outside. Um, the house is absolutely trashed. Even though I tidy as I go, we've just had a bit more of a fun day today playing. We've done sensory bins. <laughs> There is a little bit of stuff everywhere, so I'll kind of time myself to see how long this takes me to tidy up real quick. And I'll, we'll see, we'll see what we do. Also, here is my cleaning checklist that I finally printed out. I wanna get it laminated, and I have different rooms that get deep cleaned on certain days of the week on top of my normal cleaning, which would just be dishes, um, tidying up the playroom and stuff like that. So this has been really helping, but. Well, we ended 
ended up having to stop mid cleanup to go to the park, play outside for a little bit, get a walk because everybody was melting down. Now I'm gonna start making dinner, but I also wanna get this house cleaned up before Austin gets here. Okay. So let's clean up this playroom really fast. Yard stick ball in order. Never did much to set me free. I got a new cannon. Mm -hmm. I met a wild companion. Mm -hmm. I got a new cannon. I found gold in the ashtray. Honey on the knife blade. I got a new Okay, this clip is from the next day, but if you want to hear something cool, we found this chair for free on the side of the road, and it is a perfect quiet time chair, which I have been looking for to replace the couch in our playroom, but I didn't want to spend money, and God just very perfectly sat one on the side of the road for free for us, and I brought it home, cleaned it. It's so cozy, and then I set up a separate chair for Bellamy, so we both have chairs in the playroom with our Bible caddies and a specific place to spend with the Lord. And I just think it's cool because um, recently in my time with the Lord, like over the last six months to a year, I have been learning so much about him and like just so many things, but also the importance of prayer and really what prayer even means. And I have always struggled with prayer. I've also like just not really understood the purpose of it. So lately I've been just trying to pray like whatever comes to mind if i'm praying to end world hunger i'm praying to end world hunger if i'm praying for the person next to me at the grocery store or if i'm asking for a chair for my playroom like reminding myself that god is a father and a father wants to give good gifts to his children and it's part of us showing him how much we love him and how we regard him if we have the courage and like the faith to ask him for big things and little things so this was like such an answered prayer to me and we're going to be painting the playroom soon anyways but you can't really tell but this chair is like a really pretty green color and once we paint the playroom it'll really pop and it was just like so cool that god did this for me because like i don't know like it was just a silly little thing that i was asking for and austin saw it on the side of the road and he had no idea i was asking for this and i was like okay god i see you and just a reminder in case you needed it but he really is a good god and he really wants to give you good things no matter how small or how big you may think they are he cares about everything and he has time for everything as well good morning guys i actually was able to sneak out of bed so I'm not going to talk very long because I don't want to waste this time. This rarely happens for me. But I'm doing my quiet time in my new quiet time chair that I got for free. And I made homemade marshmallows last night. Put one in my coffee. I'm going to sit, spend time with the Lord. And then I'll catch you guys up and probably finish the vlog out. Because I think I've been vlogging for like four-ish days. But very much in my morning mom era with a crazy headband, eye patches feeling like an old lady my heating pad oh god is good god is good a bit later in the morning and this is what our playroom rv looks like Bean's trying to take over my quiet time chair theo's playing and we made houses for all our spider-man characters we built a play couch setup we have the tony box playing I mean, we are fully living our lives. Um, we also did our morning Bible study for Holy Week, which is like the week leading up to Easter. I'm going to show you guys because I think I said something about it, but I did make homemade marshmallows, and these are nourishing marshmallows. They're great for your skin and hair, I will say. They are gigantoid. I'm going to bake them in a different dish next time, make them in a different dish. They're, they don't look great but I promise they taste great I think next time I'm gonna supplement honey with maple syrup because I think I would like the taste better but they're very good so I put one in my coffee 
my sourdough is thriving today. We made we made um, pizza with it last night. And I also made some nourishing dinosaur gummies for Bellamy as his potty training reward because he's doing so good. So he has a couple of these every time he goes on the potty and it's literally just mango, strawberry, honey, and gelatin. And they're so good. And I got the mold off of Amazon to make the gummies. I'll probably never go back to buying them because they were so easy to make and they're such better ingredients. And yeah, we're just having a chill day at home, but I think I'm gonna wrap this vlog up because I have some things I need to do. But I just wanna say thank you guys for watching this video and for supporting my channel. And I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will catch you guys in the next one. And um, go out of your way to love on someone, make them feel extra special because they are, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye guys.